so that he's actually got to listen to you on board till he just relaxes. Good boy. Just slow the rhythm for a minute. Well done. And when you slow down the hind leg, we can see it here. He's got a fantastic hind leg. It's got to come underneath him more. And he's, you've got to control it with your reins, which you're doing. Good. Good boy. And put it onto the very small circle in the middle again. And then go sitting. Very, very good trot. And you sit up and look at the outside here so that you're not leaning in. Good girl. Super. And you see, he should be listening to your legs in the way that when you ask for canter, there shouldn't be an increased stride in the trot, and that is going to be the key. So you keep a hold of that outside rein. And just push him gently sideways and ask for the canter before R. Well done. Good boy. Now just canter round to the jumps and then trot. Very good. Very good. Canter slowly, slowly and trot. Well done, just gently get him back again. Fantastic. The canter's much better in this thing than it is the other. Yeah. Super. Good stuff, Ellen. Right, go back into the middle again. I know it's, it's quite hard. It's hard work, but we'll only do another couple. How good is this trot? I want it a bit rounder. A bit more connected. The key is the transitions up and down. Because he's got such a massive stride in the trot and the canter, he finds it quite hard to balance. And that's when you come out of canter, Julie and I can see the first stride of trot is a massive, big, long, unbalanced stride because he's lost balance. So he's got to be able to canter, canter at trot speed before you're going to get a nice transition. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay, lots of work, but you should be getting a fabulous test. <laughs> <laughs> really good trot, Ellen. Right, don't let it be any faster, so push him sideways first, hold on to the outside rein and canter when you're ready. Oops. Then you stop to a fold. <laughs> yep. Try and get him rounder, move the bit in his mouth gently. Well done. And trot. Well done, back into the middle, we're going to do one more this way. Very, very good that time. The canter was definitely better. Even if you did this three, four times a week, the difference would be like night and day. Hold on to him. It's getting knackered, I know that. <laughs> Sideways. Yep. And when you've got the bend like that, it can't possibly run off, you see. Very good. Push him sideways and canter, holding on. Canter. Come on. Well done. Good boy. Move the bit. Nice. Come on. Very good. Circle. That's okay. I want one more before he's, because he's to canter right to the jump. Does he feel knackered, Ellen? Pardon? Does he feel knackered? Uh. He looks knackered, doesn't he? He looks tired. 